Pisces what is going on it is scorpion red tarot yes indeed I am back at it again to let you know what is going on for mid April sure enough uh-huh April the 15th through the 30th yes indeed all right shout out to all my new subscribers what's up what's up what's up how you doing how you live how you live okay uh thank you guys for all the love and support that you guys have been sending to my page if this video resonates and you want to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Red Tarot, all you have to do is go to my About um, tab on my YouTube page. There are two hyperlinks there, my booking and my Instagram. So what you would need to do is click my booking, select the type of reading that you want. I only do video readings, okay? So you can send me a message on Instagram after you have booked and say, Hey, this is so-and-so. I booked with you on this day. Nine times out of ten, um, if I have openings for that same day I'll that you booked on, I'll try to um, see if I can get the reading done that same day if I have availability. Um, so just make sure after you book that you send me a message either on Google Hangouts or on that Instagram link, okay? And my email for Google Hangouts is scorpionbreads at gmail.com, okay? So if this video resonates and if you want to send a love donation, thank you guys so much for all the love donations that you've been sending. I did order three additional decks from mystic moon her twin flame oracle decks all right so i did order three additional decks because you guys have been sending so much love and support every time that you guys send a dollar ten twenty fifty um some of you guys have sent you know a nice little bit amount of money and that made it possible so that i could buy the camcorder so i didn't have to record on my cell phone no more so i appreciate all of you guys for the love and support and the love and life that you send to my page and positive energy thank you guys so much so if you do want to send a love donation you can feel free to do so um the link is in the paypal okay i mean for the paypal is in the description okay so let's get into the reading all right thank you so much father god for bringing us here for the sign of pisces thank you so much for shining love and light all through us and we're trying to just obtain and stay in a place of positive energy and abundance we're trying to bring the abundance to our life we're trying to bring that happiness we're really trying to let all of our talents shine through and we want to be seen in the best life possible and you know get in control of some emotions that's been running through us here lately um we're just trying to get to a place of just stability and just you know happiness and joy that's what we really want right now, Father God. Please allow us to, you know, swim these streams, you know, strong and triumphantly to get to where we're going without delay, you know. So thank you so much for all of our blessings and lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give the sign of Pisces guidance for mid-month April, the 15th through the 30th. Thank you again for all the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Thank you so much. All right, again, please give us guidance for the sign of Pisces. Thank you. All right. See what we got going on for Pisces in April. All right. Let's give me guidance for the sign of Pisces in April. Thank you. My guidance for Pisces. Me April 2019. Pisces. Possibilities. It says raise your standards, elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. Possibilities. Again, raise your standards, elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potentials and possibilities. It's time for you to, you know, it's time for you to like have more of a refined palette. Like your taste needs to be refined, you know. I feel like you guys have um, not necessarily been... I feel like you guys have been taking the easy route, you know, and not necessarily having the highest standards and, and, and doing what is truly best for you. You guys like just be winging it and just like instead of going to 
like the grocery store grocery store y'all be trying to just wing it by with some shit in dollar general and then when you get home you realize yeah i ended up getting a whole bunch more food with a hundred dollars at dollar general than just going to the regular grocery store but when you get in the house and you actually start cooking the food you very unsatisfied because it don't really taste as good as if you would have just went to the regular grocery store and got what you normally be buying you see what i'm saying so it's like you going cheap or you going you see what i'm saying you trying to take the easy way out and you don't really like the quality of your life right now because you wasn't raising your standards you see what i'm saying and elevating your expectations seven of wands six of cups three of cups it was something that happened to you in your childhood King of Pentacles in reverse. I want to say it was something that happened in y'all childhood that um, affected you feeling like you needed to have I want Mm hmm It's some other shit going on. In the inside. In the inside. And it's like, you know. I feel like it's something that happened in a child where it's like you look for multiple you look for fulfillment in multiple sources and only thing you really care about for real for real is your own self enjoyment and you kind of just like celebrating and be being celebrated but at the same time it's like you not really offering nothing and bringing nothing to the table and and being the king of pentacles like you it's like it's like a false king like in your mind you you want to be celebrated and you want to be glorified and you want to have fun and enjoy all the fruits of the labor of the king without being the king you know that's what you want to do. And as, as, as successful as you feel sometimes, you know, because uh, you, you feel like you bring home victory because I feel like be, because you have this three of cups here, you always are mingling and, and, and introducing yourself to new people and just enjoying yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You always have some place to kind of bring home to victory, but it ain't necessarily something that you want. It, it, it's like you're getting, you're getting the acknowledgments and you're getting the praise and you're getting the attention from someone in a situation that you feel is a burden. And that's the real secret that you hold inside. That's the real secret that you hold inside. And now you're in a situation where you're having to give. You're having to give. You're having to put out. In a situation that you're too weak to kind of walk away from. And I feel like this is, this has something to do with your childhood. Something happened in your childhood that affected you. That affected you and made you, I want to say weak where you're not able to kind of fight for yourself. And don't be offended. Don't be offended. But it's like, for this king of pentacles to be here in the reverse, this is like a Pisces man that is something that happened in their upbringing or maybe someone didn't show them in their upbringing on how to really stand up and be a man and take care of and provide for their family. You see what I'm saying? It's, not, it's, not, it's no really, no fight in them. You see what I'm saying? It's like, when these battles and these conflicts and stuff come up, um, you know, I feel like they, 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 they think back to shit in their past. You see what I'm saying? They think back to shit in their past and how the things were with their family or, or whatever happened in their childhood in their past. And they think, of, they think about 
the results of how things happened in their childhood and how it affected them. And in their mind, they say, you know, it's always better to kind of put yourself out there and, you know, it's always kind of good to have something else in the pocket, have something kind of lined up. And they feel like it's more important about being out kind of enjoying themselves than to deal with conflict or try to face a conflict. So it's like, I don't know, maybe someone in their family, in their childhood, like when things got rough, instead of them facing the conflict, you see what I'm saying? When they were young, the person didn't address and try to deal with the conflict. They just went out and celebrated and went and enjoyed, went out partying and drinking with other people and kind of, I feel like, left someone else to deal with a conflict by themselves while they were being narcissistic and selfish and went out and enjoyed and kind of set up shop and made other connections. You know what I'm saying? Like networking with other people or something like that. And I know that's not the three of pentacles, you know, the kind of networking card. But honestly, when you're out mingling, enjoying, and, and having drinks with people, that is networking. You you get into meeting and know other people and things like that, you know? And this person knows that I don't have... I don't have a lot of money. I don't have a lot of things to bring to the table. So I really do feel like this person networks and, and they mingle and they put themselves in the arena to be around people that have a little bit more than them, you know, where they feel like they, am I making any sense? They put themselves around people that are successful because in order for you to go out to the bar and the club and the drink and like you gotta have money you know what I'm saying you gotta have you know what I'm saying to celebrate in its in its way you see what I'm saying and this person wants to celebrate and be celebrated by multiple people but however they really don't have the coin so this person feels like I feel like someone showed them at a young age like don't worry about trying to face and deal and, and with conflict and stuff like that. When conflict comes your way, just surround yourself by people that are doing better. And eventually you'll do better. And eventually you'll be just like them. But I feel like this person kind of took the shit completely wrong. <laughs> like, it's like, I don't know, it, it, it's it's... I don't know if I'm making sense. It was like some backhanded ass kind of pimping it, like someone kind of taught someone, and it, it, it's something that they seen in the, in their house. Like I don't know if like their father or like their father wasn't there. Their father really wasn't a good man who really helped them with their homework, came to football camp, and did all of that shit. They didn't really kind of help mom around the house financially and things like that like they seen that they seen that but they seen that their their father was always out celebrating having a good time was always around a lot of pretty women and this person was kind of victorious in surrounding herself around pretty women but not really giving them anything you know but these women kind of celebrated them and they kind you know like these these women kind of celebrated them and i feel like maybe this person seen this in the past and like as they grew up as an adult try to mimic it and that's why they don't put up a fight you know what i'm saying like they don't put up a fight in situations with people because they are they got other situations you see so I don't know. I feel like it's like some back, backward ass pimping. And when you're doing shit like that and when you're operating like that, where it's more about qual quantity, not quality, you don't really, you're not in a place where you're really raising your standards and you have elevated expectations in the situation. Because the only thing you know is that you're running from conflict. You're running from a a, a situation where there's conflict leaving that behind 
looking to be celebrated somewhere else. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. And then they run off being celebrated somewhere else that they realize is more of a burden in the place that they left. And now, <laughs> and now the intuition is telling them, I'm going to have to like really give to this situation. You know, I'm going to really have to give to the situation. So I feel like someone ran away trying to avoid a conflict because of their past. Their past teach them that you'll be more successful if you just don't even put up a fight and go somewhere where you feel like you'll, you'll be more successful. Do you see what I'm saying? Only to realize that you end up having to put out more than you ever thought that you would. And right now you don't have strength. Like, I feel like the, 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 the Pisces feels weak feels weak and they feel like they have a lack of possibilities right now because that possibility card came in the reverse but to fix that what spirit is trying to tell you is whoever taught you this bullshit when you was young was dumb as shit number one okay and you got to think about where this type of behavior led them because at the end of the day it led them to be the king of pentacles in reverse like i don't i, I don't i don't i'm not glorified and celebrated by the people that i have around me and how much money they have you know what i'm saying that's not my money that's their money so why would you celebrate and feel victorious and and and, <laughs> and feel proud about what everyone else has around you when you don't have nothing that's like pimping. You see what I'm saying? That's pimping. It's like... Anyway. Anyway, let me try to move on. Because I feel like I'm, I'm taking too long trying to explain this. But I hope y'all understand what I'm trying to say. It's like that rock with ass pimping ended up having you pick up more than a, more of a burden. Then you, then you left. And... That's the secret. It's like it's like it's like you trying to hold it up to everyone, trying to keep a front in the public eye. Like, oh no, I'm over here. I'm good. Like, you know, blah blah blah. But really, it's a burden. It's like a, it's it's a burden. It's wearing you down where you're at right now. Movement choices and decisions. Yeah, you know, you're trying to get that root chakra balance. You're trying to get rooted. And you try to make some moves. Intuition. Yeah, you being guided by your intuition. For some reason, I feel like Pisces don't feel strong right now. Um, material and spiritual prosperity. Material and spiritual prosperity. Yeah, this is someone looking out at the prosperity, at, at the possibilities, trying to find harmony. All of this shit is about money. But you ain't going to get no fulfillment of your wishes, though. Obstacles and challenges. Mm. Mm. So listen, Pisces. This is this is it. You got to get rooted. You got to make movements, but you got to make better choices and decisions. Okay? It's about you using your intuition. This is about you making good decisions that are really going to support your inner goal. You truly looking at your possibilities and raising your standards and elevating your expectations. Because you have unlimited potential and you know that you do. But you got to be the peacemaker here. You got to have some cooperation with spirit. And if something's in your childhood that you are carrying in into adulthood that is absolutely foolish. foolish, And you need to change the, the way that you... I honestly feel like you need to change the way that you've been operating. And your intuition, that moon is telling you that. Your intuition is telling you that. And then I'm looking at the moon saying your intuition is telling you that. And they go the intuition card. 
Your intuition is telling you that. You need, you need to make movements. 2 plus 2 equals 4. 4 means reliability, foundations. You know what I'm saying? Being a manager, problem solver. Having some hard work put in there. You get me? So you need to make movements. Make better choices that are lead it, that are that are led, sorry, not lead it, that are that are led by your intuition. And you need to like get your root chakra together. Being guided by your insight. Being more aware. Aware of what you're putting, what energy you're putting out. You see what I'm saying? Being grounded. Knowing that you're protected spiritually. If you're guided by your intuition, you know, you want this material prosperity. You want the material and prosperity and spiritual prosperity, material and spiritual prosperity. So, like I said, you're looking out at your possibilities. That's what you're doing now. You're looking out at your possibilities, but you have to raise your expectations and you have to raise the quality of what you think is quality. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be. Like, is you just doing anything looking for victory anywhere that you just throw your wand at? You see what I'm saying? Like, you, you, in energy that you have, you look, you find victory anywhere that you throw your wand at. Like, this, that Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. Type of shit. And I feel like there might be someone that has a drinking problem as well. Um, with that three of cups, just like to go out and party a lot, like to party a lot, and you focused on your money and stuff like that. You, you you focused on your money and everything like that. But I'm trying to tell you right now, there's not gonna be no fulfillment in um in your wishes and stuff until you straddle these obstacles, these obstacles and these challenges. You need to you need to fix yourself, starting from your root, like the root of you, the core of you, and it's some shit that you need to rewrite from your childhood, that you need to realize it's childish, it's outdated thinking, and it might have been some information coming from an unreliable source. So maybe you shouldn't govern your life by this. Your heart chakra is blocked. I don't feel like you're adequately putting yourself in situations with people where you could truly open up your heart and love and even when you're around true love you don't even recognize it because you're so busy surrounding yourself by foolishness and when you do have yourself around true love or someplace that you truly need to give your commitment to you don't have the strength to do it you see what I'm saying like this is this is somewhere where you see that you you're, you're going to have to give But you don't feel street. You don't know if you're gonna have the strength to give the way to do. Yeah. Anyway, I'm looking over here. Pisces, give me guidance, Pisces. I'm being honest. I really don't like this energy. It says eat your fucking vegetables and love. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature and love. Get some, give some. It will cheer you up. I feel like... Mm, I'm sorry, y'all. My, my stomach is feeling a little bit ill. A little bit with this reading. Because I really don't like the energy with this reading. Because this, this is like some real low vibrational like player. Like old school pet player ass type of shit. You just look for victory anywhere. It don't even matter. It's not even about quality. That's why this came in the reverse. So I'm going to keep this right how it came out. Because that's how I'm feeling. And I feel like it's saying eat vegetables. You need to eat stuff that you need to you need to feed your body something that's more nutritious. You're feeding your body bullshit, calling it quality, calling it a victory. You know? I feel like you need to deal with people that naturally love you. And not only that, you need to eat more natural food. But you just need to put more natural substance in your body. Stop eating bullshit, calling it love, calling it victory. You know? I'm hearing divine feminine. You need divine feminine love. 
Pisces man. You need real love. In order to get some, you have to give some. True love will cheer you up. You can't just be doing anything, you guys. You can't just be doing anything. Clarify this. Um, what is this? The King of Coins. They want to be the King of Coins. Why? Well, I just feel like only thing Pisces give a fuck about is money. What is your deal with this money? Is money in your world, Pisces? Money. I feel like money is like a big issue for Pisces right now. They go eight of coins. <clears throat> like you a you a you a janky page of cups, janky salesman. You are like it's like you want to be the king of coins, but you're not willing to put the work in to get there. You want you want to you want to shop at Rainbow. And walk around like you wearing Prada. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Page of Cups. Like right now you just in, in, in the Eight of Wands. You just in, in the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I feel like it's like you are just sending out a lot of communications. A lot of messages of love to like a whole bunch of different people. Just looking for whoever could bite at this moment. You're not willing to put the work in to, you're not willing to put the work in that you need to put the work in to be the king of coins for real. I feel like you're lazy. Don't be offended, but I really don't care. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. And a lot of people know that about my channel. And if you can't handle tough love, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you need to unsubscribe. Because I'm going to keep it 100% real. And this is a Pisces man that I'm seeing here. I do not see no female energy here. I do not feel no female energy here. This is a Pisces male energy. Okay? You want to be the king of coins, but you don't want to put the work in. You be half-assing. You be half-assing a lot. And, like, honestly, I feel like... It's to the point where other people kind of see that and you're kind of known. Like you're kind of like, like I feel like your reputation is like slowly being ruined a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because this is how people are looking at you right now. And right now you're going through a bout of misfortune. And you're putting, you're putting your line out there to whoever will bite it at this point. You see what I'm saying? You, you... Acting like real thirsty right now. I feel like you, it's almost like in a bout of desperation. Because, again, you're putting your fish line out there trying to... You you out mingling again. <laughs> you out mingling again. You out mingling again with that false impression that you want to... You know, you out celebrating having a good time. False King of Cups people have no, I mean, False King of Pentacles people have no idea that you ain't got no money or, or that you have, it's not even about money because you guys might have money, but it says that you have no intentions of really putting the time and effort and the work in that it takes to be a successful king or have a successful relationship. You just looking for acknowledgement and attention. You just like the intention. Oh, let me hurry up so I can get the hell up out of this energy. No, because I'm sorry. I'm getting irritated. I'm going through a bout of misfortune because of your energy. Your energy is draining. and My, my head is hurting. I'm feeling very drained. And I'm almost about to cut this video short because I don't even want to stay in this energy no more because I'm getting irritated. Um, Pisces, what do you have to say? Let's find out what Pisces has to say, you guys. Mm -mm. 
Is that what you're saying? You living your best life. You ain't going back and forth with you, nigga. You just going to move, set up shops and wells. Lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth. This is what Pisces has to say. Ladies, lying was just easier for me than telling the truth. I'm going to flip back over, okay? We don't want to say that. But we want to say this. I've thought about you a lot lately. What's going on with Pisces in the um, shadows? Because I want to figure out what the hell his problem is. What happened in his childhood? What happened? And that's crazy that this I'm living my best life song is playing in the background because it is like that's how this person feels like. They just, they just want to celebrate and be celebrated. out there was something that happened in their childhood that put a lot of doubt in their head about their self they have they, they, they battle with a lot of insecurities this Pisces does it was something that happened that's why they, they silence it's, it's a lot of insecurities and it was a lot of doubt instilled into them as a child that they don't want to talk about they, they felt below secondary in their household, okay? They were in a household where no one didn't listen to them. No one really seen them. And that made them feel insecure and that made them grow up with a lot of doubt about their self as a man. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't get that love and that attention from their own mother. They felt second to their own mother that birthed them. You know what I'm saying? Like this is a mom that put other people in front of her own child. You know what I'm saying? Like there was a lot of doubt being instilled into them. They don't have a lot of confidence at all. This person has a big, you know, insecurity issues. That's way deeper than anything that you can ever think about. All right. They don't know how to speak or I don't I don't even think that they know how to address this um, and they want to act like they don't see it. They want to they don't want to talk about it and they want to act like they don't see it. But this is something that tears their brain up every day. It don't matter if they want to act like they don't want to see it. They don't want to talk about it. It's up in their big ass head every motherfucking day. This insecurity, this shit. This shit was, this doubt and this insecurity was instilled from a child, from childhood. Their mother made them feel less than secondary. They're not disillusioned about this. They know what their issues are. They know what their issues are. They don't want to face it because they don't want nobody to be judgmental, okay? They feel pitiful and they don't want people to look at them like they're pitiful. That's why they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to address it, you know. And that's why they don't. When when I feel like when people try to confront them about these uh, issues and shit from their childhood, they just they just close up. They silence you out like they wall you out, or they lie to you. You know what I'm saying? And they just. Then they just go missing all of a sudden. Like, they, they just don't start coming home anymore. And you looking at them like, motherfucker, you ain't even had no money like that. Where the fuck is you going? They out hanging out with their friends. They out partying and shit. Because they got a lot of friends that fuck with them. And their friends be like, shit, if you ain't got no money, fool, I'll pay for you. Come on, let's go to the bar and shit like that. You know? Because when Pisces good, Pisces good and Pisces at home. You see what I'm saying? The Six of Cups again. Some shit at the past. Some shit in the past that they can't get over. Yeah. They suffer with being rejected. They suffer with being rejected. And that's why they'd rather have multiple, multiple people. 
the Queen of, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. They'd rather have multiple, multiple people around them than... They'd rather have multiple people around them that makes them feel celebrated, that makes them feel like they've accomplished something by having all of these people around them, you know? Because when they were younger, they didn't have a good mother in their house. You see what I'm saying? Is this... Yeah. They didn't have a good mother in their house. You see what I'm saying? Their mother wasn't around. Their mother didn't keep the house clean. Their mother didn't cook. Their mother was too busy getting her feet kissed and sucked on by other people or doing whatever personally made her feel good that she really didn't pay any attention to her child. You know, and he felt ne neglected and rejected by his own mother. You see? So it don't really matter... But and also the type of women that um I feel like the type of people that he, he runs around behind like they kind of yeah, slightly like his mom in some senses you know what I'm saying like they're slightly like his mom in some senses it's like it's some type of disconnect with their children or some shit like that I don't know it's like in these women they'll cater to him and neglect their children and like he don't even realize that I don't know I'm sorry y'all but I'm serious but it's like this is a type of man that they just they just want to feel accepted they just want to feel acknowledged they want the attention from somebody and the type of women, because like I said, they don't really care about the quality of women that they're surrounding themselves around. They're actually surrounding themselves because they, they care about the quantity, not the quality. Because he always got somebody else, somebody else, somebody else. So he don't really give a fuck. But it's just like, these women are doing the same thing to their kids, giving them attention that their mother was doing them. And they don't even realize that shit. That's why that Wheel of Fortune in reverse is right there. You need to pay attention to what you're doing. Stop what you're doing, one, because I'm about to ruin one. The image and the style that you used to. I look funny. But you I'm making money, see? The whole world. Hope you ready for me. Now gather round. I'm the new fool in town. And my sound laid down by the underground. What do you say? I, I eat up all the... What do you say? I eat up all the, the pickles that you got on your shelf. So just let me introduce myself. My name is Humpty. And that's with the Humpty. Um, something's wrong with him. Okay, I'm, I'm recording. My bad, you guys. Had to deal with my baby here and feeling good. Let's get into deeper into some love. Then we're going to wrap this up, you guys. So that's kind of used all my decks here. Um, Please give us some last words in regards to love for Pisces. Please give me some guidance for Pisces in regards to love. Surrender. Stuck. Fear your letting go of your ego and your pride. Listen. Listen, Pisces. I'm about to make this real quick. If you want to turn on, turn around your Pisces. Uh, if you want to turn around your Pisces. If you want to turn around, Pisces, and if you want more possibilities to open up to you, like I said, you have to raise your standards. Okay, you have to raise your standards and elevate your expectations because you do have unlimited potential. You really do. But you got to surrender to actually doing that. Like, you know, if you like you got to change what you think is quality and you got to stop this little dumbass game that you've been playing here. You know what I'm saying? That's why you stuck in this. Like you stuck like right now in the situation that you at. I feel like you jumped out of the frying pan into the fire and you thought that you were moving somewhere else where you would be more celebrated and there would be more. You know, like it would have been a. 
better prosperous situation for, for you. But the secret was that you were going to end up having to pay out more than you were paying out where you were. And you ain't got the strength to do that. You understand? And now you feel like you stuck though. Because I don't think you can go back to where you left. And you messed everything up chasing your pride and your ego. And not letting go of your pride and ego. And so rendering to this process of raising your standards and raising your expectations. You see? And not feeding into your pride and your ego no more. That's what you need to surrender so that you won't be stuck anymore. Stop feeding into your pride and ego. You chasing your pride and ego looking to be celebrated. And looking for attention in all the wrong places. This leading you nowhere. Let me give you one more of these cards and then we leave them. Because I don't really got anything more to say. And y'all please do not, like I'm sorry, like I don't mean to be this way. I just don't like this energy. I'm keeping it 100. I don't like this energy at all. So y'all are dealing with a Pisces that is like this. That, I don't know, maybe they left you when shit got tough. And instead of working things out with you, you felt like they were being childish and just went and looked to be celebrated and to celebrate with someone else. You know? Let me see them thumbs up. Well, one thing I want you to know is that I'm not making an excuse for this Pisces. This is something that this child was neglected. This child, it was something that happened to this child. And they stop obsessing. You are not the fucking center of the universe. Stop obsessing. You are not the center of the universe. I feel like, you know, honestly, God is like, seriously, like, you are not the center of the universe. I don't feel like no one has to take care of you. No one has to celebrate you. No one has to honor you if you don't honor yourself. You know, I feel like you you you're obsessing, uh, you're obsessing about something in the past too. It's something in the past, maybe a a, a relationship that, like I said, you walked away from because you didn't want to put up the fight. Like you didn't want to, you didn't want to put the fight up. You didn't want to put the work into it. Like I said, shady salesman. You know, when someone like you, you put yourself off like you're the king of pentacles because you want to be the king of pentacles, but then you sell someone some fictional bullshit and you made it you glorified it and make it seem like oh no like i've never had a bad uh 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 uh, uh a bad review all of my customers are, are, are satisfied like everything is good blah, 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 you know and then when people come to you and just like um actually that shit that you sold me you said that it would never broke it broke as soon as i got home what's going on and then when someone confronts you with that shit instead of you you know, being a true king of pentacles, you had no intentions of the shit working anyway. Like, you knew exactly what the fuck you were doing. And as soon as someone comes to you with some conflict confronting you about the bullshit that you try to sell them or try to sell yourself as, you're just like, uh, nah, I don't deal with conflict. Bye. <laughs> and you're looking to go celebrate with someone else to pull the same trick or the same trade with someone else. Yeah. That's why you... Only thing you worried about is material, material, material. You looking off into the vast lands, looking for where your next material. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like this. I don't like this energy. Anyway, I'm gone. I don't really got nothing else to say. Bye.